हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अश्विनी करपे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ एग्रोनॉमी कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर बारामती आई एम हियर विथ आवर नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्रॉप ऑफ कोर्स एग्रो टू थ्री फोर दैट इज क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी फर्स्ट खरीप क्रॉप्स ओके सो हियर इज दैट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस क्रॉप इन फोटोग्राफ हियर इज द प्लांट एंड हियर यू कैन सी पॉड्स एंड सीड्स एक्चुअली सीड साइज इज uh smaller than this uh photograph okay quite pyramidal shape seeds you can see in this crop okay if we categorize this crop in agronomic class so agronomic class of this crop is fiber crop okay as we know fiber crop means a uh, one example that is cotton but here is one next example that is jute and here we have to learn cultivation of this jute crop in today's session okay so botanical name of this crop is corcoro species why i have wrote corcoro species because this jute having two species used for cultivation one is olitorius and next one is capsularis okay see while writing botanical name of this crop you can write कॉर्कोरस ओलिटोरियस और कॉर्कोरस कैप्सुलरिस ओके और बोथ हियर इज द फैमिली ऑफ दिस क्रॉप दैट इज टीलियसी क्वाइट डिफरेंट वन कम्पेयर टू अदर क्रॉप्स एंड इट इज अगेन इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप क्वेश्चन फॉर प्रैक्टिकल एग्जामिनेशन एंड फॉर इयर थीरी एग्जामिनेशन इफ वी थिंक अबाउट ओरिजिन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू स्पीसीज ऑफ दिस क्रॉप ओरिजिन इज अगेन डिफरेंट for olitorius species origin is africa and for capsular species origin is endoderma region okay let's move to this uh, let's move to next part that is economic importance okay before start of economic importance i want to uh, uh, give one uh, important uh, i want to uh, tell you one important thing that is as we know cotton crop is called as white gold of india most of the time cotton crop is uh, called as white gold of india the same like that jute crop is called as jute crop is called as golden fiber of india okay it is important for objective type question cotton is white gold of india and jute is golden fiber of india okay so you should know this thing see it is important fiber crop after cotton crop major forage foreign exchange earner crop it gives us uh, majority of foreign exchange to us uh, for indian economy fibers are specially used for preparation of gunny clothes gunny bags uh, packing material for example for uh, grain cement fertilizers and wools see uh, these fibers are also used for making robes carpets rugs and twills okay uh, if we think about nowadays majority of handicrafts are also prepared from jute see stock of or steam of this jute crop is used as a fuel in rural area it is important for objective type question that is uh, jute fibers or uh, this crop is used for making gunpowder charcoal it is also used in uh, fiber is also used in paper industry for making coarse paper or rough textured paper here is that institute where jute and allied fi allied fiber research are carried out that is cri jaf that means central institute for jute and allied fibers and this institute is situated at barakpur kolkata okay it is important for objective type question okay and here is one more uh, question related to this crop which is the leading state in india for cultivation of this jute crop and that state is west bengal okay here is the climatic requirement of this jute crop so jute requires 
or this jute cra- uh, crop can be grow best under warm and humid climatic situation if we think about optimum temperature or best temperature for cultivation or for completion of the whole life span of jute crop so this requires 24 to 37 degree celsius temperature jute requires well distributed rainfall up to 150 cm and young uh, jute plant is quite sensitive to uh, sorry very sensitive to water logged situation okay so we have to avoid water logging situation when this crop is in young stage okay here is the soil requirement of this jute crop so jute can be grown on all type of soils but best soils are new alluvial soils as this crop is mostly cultivated in west bengal region so you can find alluvial type of soil there okay so this soil uh, these soils are best for cultivation of this jute crop lateritic soil gravelly soil sandy soil and even heavy soil of our region is not suitable for cultivation of this jute crop okay here are the varieties and field preparation see as we learned uh, in previous slide this jute crop has two cultivated species one is capsular species and next one is olitoria species so according to these species varieties are again different so here are the varieties according to species here is uh, here are the varieties of capsular species one is sonal that is jrc 212 c stands for capsularis shamali jrc 7447 sonali jrc 321 okay next are the varieties of olitoria species in that first is chaitali tosa jro 878 here o stands for olitorius basudev jro 7835 navin jro 524 and mahadev jj 40 okay so these are various varieties of this jute crop according to cultivated species okay so you have to remind all these varieties for objective type questions in practical session and for theory also okay let's move to next part that is field preparation so before cultivation of this crop we have to prepare our field so for cultivation of this jute crop this crop requires fine tilth seed bed okay so we have to keep our field clod free by using various field operations or by carried out uh, uh, by carried out Uh, various uh, field operations like plowing harrowing and planking okay so one planking follow, sorry one plowing followed by two to three harrowings and then planking planking means land leveling we have to carry it out and then we have to prepare our field for cultivation of this jute crop okay here is the seeds and sowing so in seeds and sowing first part is sowing time for this jute crop so this jute is cultivated at the starting of month february to the middle of june month that is optimum sowing time for cultivation of this jute crop if we think about seed rate it again varies according to cultivated species if we are cultivating capsular species this species requires 6 to 8 kg seeds for cultivation of 1 hectare area and if we are using olitoria species for cultivation so this species require 4 to 6 kg seeds for cultivation of 1 hectare area again spacing is varies according to the uh, cultivated species capsular species requires 30 cm by 5 to 7 cm spacing and olitoria species requires 20 cm by 5 to 10 oh, sorry 5 to 7 cm spacing okay again uh, again we can uh, before sowing we can follow seed treatment so agrason fungicide that uh, is used for control of seed borne and soil borne diseases application rate is 5 kg for 
वन हेक्टर एरिया एंड जनरल स्विंग मेथड यूज फॉर कल्टिवेशन ऑफ जूट इज ड्रिलिंग मेथड ओके नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज न्यूट्रिय मैनेजमेंट सो दिस क्रॉप रिक्वायर्स फाइव टू एट टन्स वेल डिकम्पोज फार्म यार्ड मैन्युअल पर हेक्टर एट द टाइम ऑफ लैंड प्रिपरेशन वी हैव टू अप्लाई इट और एट द टाइम ऑफ लास्ट हेरोइंग अगेन रिकमेंडेड फर्टिलाइजर डोज वेरीज विथ स्पीसीज सो कैप्सुलरी स्पीसीज रिकमेंडेड फर्टिलाइजर डोज इज फोर्टी के जी टू एटी किलोग्राम ऑफ नाइट्रोजन ट्वेंटी टू फोर्टी किलोग्राम ऑफ फॉस्फोरस एंड जीरो किलोग्राम ऑफ के टू पर हेक्टर रिकमेंडेड फर्टिलाइजर डोज फॉर ओलिटोरियस स्पीसीज इज ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी किलोग्राम ऑफ नाइट्रोजन ट्वेंटी टू सिक्सटी किलोग्राम ऑफ फॉस्फोरस एंड जीरो किलोग्राम ऑफ के टू ओके पर हेक्टर सी फ्रॉम दिस डोसिस नाइट्रोजन इज गिवन इन टू स्प्लिट्स ओके एट द टाइम ऑफ स्विंग एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ फाइव टू फोर टू फाइव वीक्स क्रॉप एच ओके होल फॉस्फोरस इज गिवन एट द टाइम ऑफ स्विंग ओके हेयर इज द वॉटर रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दिस क्रॉप generally this crop is cultivated as a rain fed crop uh, but uh, if in rainy season heavy rainfall is there or excess uh, excess water is there so we should provide uh, or we should make provision of uh, drainage of this excess uh, we have to drain out all this excess water or heavy rainfall from the field to avoid water logged situation as we know this uh, jute or young plant of jute is very sensitive to water logging situation so we have to avoid this water logged situation we have to uh, use such kind of practices to remove excess water okay so before sowing this crop requires pre sowing irrigation if sufficient wapsa condition is not there then we this crop requires one pre sowing irrigation and for quick germination of this seeds pre sowing irrigation is also helpful as seed coat of these seeds is quite hard okay after that this crop requires three post sowing irrigation post sowing means after emergence of crop this crop requires minimum three irrigations okay before onset of monsoon and if sufficient rainfall is there so we uh, most of the time farmers are not irrigating this crop here is weed management so at least two weedings are sufficient for control of weed intensity uh, in the field and it again varies number of hand weedings are or weeding operation again varies according to uh, weed intensity in the field so first weeding is given when crop age is 2 to 3 weeks at that time plant height is 7 to 10 cm and second weeding is at when crop is 6 to 8 week age at that time plant height is 14 to 15 cm okay here are the uh, diseases of this jute crop seedling blight root rot stem rot collar rot and stem gall pests are uh, jute semi looper jute stem weevil bihar hairy caterpillar yellow mites and root knot nematodes next part that is harvesting see most of the time as we know this is fiber crop so it is cultivated for getting fiber so if we want good quality fibers this jute crop is harvested at any stage before flowering that means 120 to 150 days harvesting is gives us good quality fibers of jute crop okay early harvesting if we uh, if we do uh, harvesting earlier so early harvest gives us fine fibers with good quality and if delay the harvesting if we delay harvesting or late harvesting gives us greater yield but coarse fibers we can't get such type of fine fibers okay so it may uh, affects price also uh, price of fibers also 
okay so ideal stage for harvesting of jute for getting good quality fibers is small pod formation stage it is important for objective type question okay so harvesting is carried out by cutting whole plant uh, close to the ground then harvested plants are tied in bundle uh, in small bundles like 18 to 20 cm diameter bundles and then these bundles are allowed to dry at least for 2 to 3 days for uh, actually uh, for drying of leaves also leaves only okay just for drying and shedding of leaves we have to keep all the harvested plant bundles uh, in sunlight at least for 2 to 3 days after that rating is carried out now it this part after harvesting this part is important for us it is important for short note type of questions in your theory examination okay so after harvesting rating is given okay so first we should know rating means what the rating means it is process by which the fibers in the bark get loosened and separated from woody stock. I repeat again, a process by which fibers in the bark get loosened and separated from woody stock. That means we just have to make fibers loose and separated, uh, separated and this process is called as rating. Okay. Now you ca we can see what is actual procedure of rating. Actually, rating is a microbial procedure, a uh, microbial process where aerobic and aerobic, anaerobic microorganism plays important role. See, rating is done. Rating is done in shallow channels with slow running water or in tanks with two meter depth. Okay, so we just if running water is there, or if running water is not there, then we have to uh, use tanks at least 2 meter depth or more than 2 meter depth tanks are used for uh, dipping of all the uh, harvested bundles okay then we have to place all the bundles we have to keep all bundles in running water or in tank 30 to 60 centimeter deep at least for 3 to 4 days okay after that each bundle is placed side by side in two to three layers and then we have to tie them together. Then they are covered, these all tied bundles are, are all tied and layered bundles are covered with aquatic weeds and cement blocks for submerged just for for submerging that bundles into 10 centimeter below surface water okay i'll show uh, photographs then see rating is uh, our best temperature for rating of this jute is 34 degree celsius it is again important for objective type questions and after eight days we just have to check the stems if fibers slips out easily from wool uh, so sorry from wood part or from stock then rating is then rating is completed okay that is the quite uh, uh, examination if fibers are slips easily with the uh, from the bark or from the wood then rating is completed okay see over rating gives us dashed or weak fibers. Dashed weak means which uh, fibers we can't get uh, good price. Okay. So this kind of, uh, this is procedure of, actual procedure of rating. And afterward, fiber is extracted. Okay. Here you can see. We just have to tie a, in this photograph you can see. These farmers are trying, tying all the bundles each other and 
here you can see aquatic weeds are covered with uh, these kind of these on over the bundles here you can see cement blocks are also kept on these uh, bundles just to make them submerge in water and here is the after examination these farmers are extracting fibers in water uh, from the uh, thumb and fingers okay see machine is uh, most of the time jute fibers are extracted by hand only okay see here uh, this is procedure of rating now here you can see fiber extraction procedure see fiber extracted from red stalk by keeping stalks in water as such in water next see beating of stalks with sticks is avoided uh, for jute uh, fiber extraction because it spoils fiber quality okay after that fiber extraction is done from each stem individual stem separately with the help of hand extracted fibers are dried in mild sun on bamboo frames or on clean surface at least for 2 to 3 days okay here you can see see after fiber extraction these all fibers are kept on uh, bamboo uh, for drying in mild sun or here you can see on on floor okay so and here you can see color of the fibers why this crop is called as golden fiber of india because fiber color of this jute is quite golden okay here is the yield of this crop for from fiber if we uh, cultivated this crop for fiber extraction it gives us 20 to 25 quintals per hectare uh, from well managed plot and if we cultivated this jute crop for seed extraction so from capsulary species we we got four to five quintal seeds from one hectare area and for oleatorious species 2.5 to 3 quintals per hectare okay so this is our next important crop jute crop jute is very important for short note type of questions harvesting rating and fiber extraction of jute is very important see uh, if you uh, if you have any doubt you can see uh, few videos are there on internet you can check videos how actual fiber extracted from this jute plant okay so it gives you uh, gives you a quite clear idea i'll show you uh, uh, i'll give you video link again you can go through it okay so this is our next important crop that is jute fine thank you